It's a time for the package from Chiana. Sega Dreamcast. I have some really good memories with this system. And I still play it nowadays, in 2021. And the reason why? Because I think this is not an outdated system. Like a many system that have been forgotten, the Sega Dreamcast is obscure, but it's still a very good console nowadays to pick up and play. Because of a lot of great options, there's still a big community behind it. And not to forget, they are still making new games for it, and a lot of new modifications. And they are even selling it on AliExpress, fully modded with HDMI and SD function. The PlayStation 2 was personally my first console I got in that generation, like maybe many of you. But quickly, as I had it for a couple of years, I realized I missed out something pretty cool. And of course that was the Sega Dreamcast. So after having the PlayStation 2 for a couple of years, I purchased myself a second-hand Sega Dreamcast with a pile of games, including Sonic Adventure 2. That is still one of my favorite games for this system. So I was searching for the Sega Dreamcast that comes with not only the GDMU for the SD card function, but I wanted to have the HDMI. And guess what? I came across this machine on AliExpress, looking at it thinking, hmm, this can be very interesting price and console combination because you're going to get everything so this machine is fully modded with hdmi gdmu also going to get the power supply mod so now overall it looks quite interesting so i just want to pick it up and we're going to do a teardown just to see what we're going to get okay so let's open it up and let's take a close look at the gdmu so the sd mod comes also including the 3d printed mod and that is pretty cool because I think that's just a, more like a finishing touch to it. It has an SD extension, so this means you can very easily swap out the SD card. It comes with an 8GB one. Okay, and the other thing is more like you have this button that you sometimes need for using the GDMU options. And then we're having this extra slot, so if you want to have a spare SD card, you can put it in there. Okay, so let's take a close look at the back of the system. And here we're going to get two changes. Let's talk about the barrel jack at the back, because we're going to get an external power supply with this. Yep, the internal power supply has been replaced with one of the mods that is included in the system. The Sega Dreamcast also came with this brown box. And inside the box we're going to get some paperwork, like this one, that basically says how to install one of the mods. Already it has been done of course, but it's still cool that they are going to give you. But the power supply. So here we're having it. It's more, it comes also with different attachments for different regions. And the first thing I'm noticing is that this 12 volt 3 amp feels quite heavy. It looks like it's a very nice quality power supply. And all the plugs that we're going to need, depending where you're living. Ah, and for me, is of course the European zone. At the back, we're going to get this very tiny HDMI output because this thing also includes the HDMI mod. And this mod. To be honest, this is the reason I basically bought this thing. The package also includes an adapter from mini HDMI to the normal HDMI. Personally, I recommend you just using a cable that already has this conversion. Okay, so let's plug it in and I'm noticing that it clicks in very well, so you cannot easily pull it out. Okay, so let's take a close look at the bottom part. And the first thing that I'm noticing, they were having three extra parkers. They are using these for putting the HDMI mod in place in the case, so it can move around. Okay, I wanted to do a quick teardown just to show you what are we going to get in the inside with the mods and not to forget, how does it look? Yep, but they are not giving us a modem, so for the people who really like to have a modem with it, it doesn't include that one. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is what you're going to get when lifting up the top cover. And I must say, there are some things I'm noticing that I don't like. So it looks like that they replaced the fan, or it looks new, but it's not knocked to a fan. And this thing sounds like a freaking vacuum cleaner. Another thing is what I find a little bit of a bummer, they didn't replace the battery. Because the first time I booted it up, yep, I got the date setting error. So it's just a minor upgrade, but Sadly, they didn't do it. So they are giving us the Dream PSU. It's a very common one you can pick up. You can buy them separately on AliExpress. 
if you want to for your own Dreamcast. So let's remove the GDMU complete with 3D printed case. You can just basically remove it by removing two screws and we can just pull it out. And this is the 5.5 edition. You can also buy this one separately on AliExpress if you want to. So the next thing I wanted to do is very gently remove the top plate because I want to take a closer look at the soldering skills and how did he make this. I will give them some extra wicked kudos simply because they have changed out the thermal pads. That's something more like a minor adjustment, but it can make a big difference. So and overall, this is what you're going to get in the inside. And the first thing I'm noticing that we're having an extra chip. So I didn't know that they were giving us an extra chip. They also included an extra thermal pad on the other chip over there. They did surprise me with this extra chip inside the Sega Dreamcast that I bought because I didn't know it was in there and they also didn't put it on the selling page that I was going to be including some extra things beside the GDMU and of course the HDMI function. And the soldering, in my opinion, it's not really bad. But I think the main reason I opened it up, I want to take a close look at the DC HDMI, how did they do the soldering and how does it look? So and overall let's zoom in with the camera and let's check out how is the soldering. Okay so I tried in to zoom in with the maximum I can do with this camera to give you a good idea. Of course best thing is the microscope but I don't have this so we'll do it with the best thing I'm having here. And in my opinion again the soldering is not really bad. So at the right side we're going to get the Wi-Fi antenna because the HDMI function has Wi-Fi capabilities. But in overall I am very pleased of the result and what we're going to get with this Dreamcast with HDMI functionalities. Especially when you're looking at the price, it's a pretty good deal and it's a very nice job. The only thing I can complain about is more like the backup battery. More like this minor thing, why didn't they do this? Okay, so let's boot up the Sega Dreamcast vacuum cleaner. That's the reason why I want to have a Nocto fan in this thing. I hate the sound. It's really loud. Okay, so it's booted up. It shows Dream Key in the VMU. So what I like about the GNMU, it's a super easy way to basically play all of your games from an SD card. So the system itself is already set up. So the only thing you need to do is add your games and just be on your way. The menu. It's the same like I've shown you in different videos. It's a very clean menu with a text and it also shows a tiny preview more like a game disc. So when pressing the left and right trigger A and X and pressing start, we're going to get this special menu. We're having a lot of different things we can change out like output resolution, advanced video settings, scan lines, video mode settings, firmware, Wi-Fi setup and of course the test and info. Let's take a close look at the resolutions, what kind of different ones we're having and how does it look. The best thing that we can do if you want to switch between the 480p, 960p or 1080p or the VGA, let's do in capturing. When you take a close look at the menu, we're having so many options like advanced video settings, deinterlacing 480i, deinterlacing 576i. There are so many different things you can adjust with this HDMI mod. So having the scan line option, so if you're into the scan lines, you can basically use different options with this. Video mode settings, 
Force 2 VGA, Cable Detect, Switch Trick VGA, Firmware, Wi-Fi Setup and of course the test info. Okay, so when I was noticing the Sega Dreamcast on AliExpress, I was completely surprised to begin with. I was like, wait, what? A complete modded Sega Dreamcast with HDMI function for this amount of money? Is this too good to be true? Or is there something not right? But when you're looking up and doing the teardown, you can see that the soldering skills are quite good in my opinion. And the overall deal is not bad at all. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of this deal? It's fully modded, HDMI on it. You have HDMI and an SD mod, uh, the power supply mod, sadly of the battery, but that's more like something we need maybe change out myself, or maybe they will do it in the next batch. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, become on the Wicked family, and hit that little bell, and I will see you in the next video.